Hello, everyone. Uh, it's me. I'm back. I'm in college now. Uh, the place where it is much more expensive than high school. Uh, with all this work. But now that I'm here in college, I'm gonna need a car to get to and fro all the locations and to hit people. So let's check out my options online. There's Toyota, which boring and too slow. Ford, I think he was like an anti-Semite, so... It's Lincoln, I don't think I'm gonna be dying from old age anytime soon, so not, no. I guess I could do Nissan. It's kind of like Toyota, you know, they're both Japanese, but without all the car defects. I guess I'll just order it online, get like two, three day shipping. Let's go to Nissan.com and... Uh, what the fuck? Yeah, so as it turns out, Nissan.com is actually a hate page for Nissan. And the story behind why is fucking bonkers. So in 1995, a man by the name of Uzi Nissan with a company named after himself, Nissan, created a website, Nissan.com, his last name. When Nissan approached him in 1998 to take the website from him as their own, he refused. And so uh, the natural response was to sue him $10 million in damages, which in 2021 money, is $16 million. To make an eight year long story short, Uzi Nissan actually came out on top. And so to this day, he still has the rights to Nissan.com's domain. However, as he puts it himself, while Nissan may have lost the court case, he did not win. Uh, in fact, he claims to have gone at 99.9% .9 out of business because who wants to do business with a company that is in the midst of a huge lawsuit with one of the largest car companies in the world? So, because he pretty much lost eight years of his life and uh, his like, whole business, the website is now a fuck Nissan website. There's a whole review section, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of pages of people reviewing the website. It's just basically everybody circle jerking about how much they hate Nissan. This is the website. It looks like something from the 90s, pretty much. I kind of want this shirt, to be honest. Let's go to People's Opinions, page one. Does the fact that Nissan CEO is a Lebanese Arab have anything to do with how they how doggedly they've pursued this case against an Israeli Jew. I feel like this is not my place. This is totally outrageous. I am so angry that this is happening in the United States of America. I will never buy a Nissan automobile and will urge anyone I know to do the same. Dear sirs, to put it succinctly, this gentleman is using his born name for his business. His website refers to people yours in the event they are mislaid. My family is considering buying its seventh Nissan, one Sentra, three Stanza, two Ultima, and the next will be a new Ultima. Dude, it's just like flexing. Yeah. So I own seven cars, by the way. Dude, this guy's probably bullying small businesses, let's be real. I am appalled by this kind of heavy-handed approach from a large corporation. I sincerely- Oh, this, is, this one is a threat. If they want to try selling it, but they must pay the price or else! Is anyone, like, against Mr. Nissan? Good luck, McDonald's tried. Okay, <laughs> thanks, Frank. <laughs> I'm a proud Nissan enthusiast. The only one of its kind. But with a Nissan and Infiniti in the garage, what are these like people flexing? They're f they're like, yeah, I own expensive cars. He's not pretending to sell cars or something under the Nissan name. And he even links to Nissan cars at the top of his page. This makes me ashamed to have a Nissan banner on my race car. <laughs> I don't care about your stupid expensive race car. Shut the fuck up. I just want to read the reviews about the website. So Madams, whatever. Long ago, Nissan Motor Consumer, I am disturbed about your suit. In the past five years, our company has purchased over 200 Nissan cars. As of today, I have instructed our staff to begin a boycott. I think we found the biggest flexer, Wayne Carter. That sounds like a rich person name. This is like the biggest flex so far. He even wrote Sirs, Madams, whatever. He changed his whole company model because he read one website about it. Jesus Christ, why are people writing like essays like we care? This is so long. This is a short story. <laughs> this reads kind of like a manifesto. It is becoming a new elite in the world and soon you are either with them or at their mercy now. I am telling no one what to do, say, or think as personal liberty is the basis of what America was and is about. I agree. Does, okay, is anybody like against him? Hey Nissan Motors, watch out. A day may come when a bigger dinosaur than you. 
Even if you win the case this way, you will never win the people's heart, their sympathy, their empathy, which is more important. How much is Nissan worth? Nissan made six billion dollars in 2018. So I don't think they give a fuck what the people think. This is what I am attributing to the website. I really hope this gets approved. There's no way though. I think it's too on the nose. As the owner of a small business myself, I am appalled to receive news of such an unfortunate tragedy directed towards a fellow man of business. As someone in the possession of 40 Nissan cars, oh wait, I'm pushing just the automobile. As someone in the possession of 40 Nissan automobiles collectively worth $1.2 million, what well, can I say? I'm a bit of a collector. I will need to reevaluate my partnership with such an evil company. I'm gonna change that to wretched. Maybe I should start purchasing Mercedes instead? I would have to build a new garage in my Florida summer manor to compensate the new surplus. Regardless, you can rest assured this multi-millionaire will no longer support the Nissan car company any longer. Curse the Japanese! Best repair. Okay, I'm gonna do another one, but this time it's gonna be pro Nissan car company just to see if they accept that at all. Okay, so here's my uh, opposing uh, response. Honestly, I think the Nissan company deserves this website domain. They have more money after all, so it just doesn't seem right for a little man to pester such an important and powerful corporation. By this point in my life, I have owned 20 plus Nissan cars and I plan on continuing to support this company for many years to come. So yeah, that was um, Nissan.com. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I might make a follow-up video on my messages because I have no idea how long this is going to take for them to be read and approved. I hope you go check out Nissan.com for yourself and leave your own review, serious or not. I would like to say this is my first time making a commentary video in a very long time, so please bear with me a little bit. I'm getting back into it.